This is Brett Waltemath of Starwatch Media at the 21st Annual Hamptons International Film Festival. Brett with Starwatch Media. Now, this documentary is actually based off your book, so tell me a little bit just about the process of you discovering the book and deciding to adapt it into a documentary. Well, first I discovered John, and then he led me to discovering the book. We met in Paris in 2009, and we sort of had a chance, serendipitous meeting in a restaurant in Paris, and we got speaking to each other, and then John invited myself and my friend back to his apartment and sh told us about his book, so I went back to Dublin, Ireland, where I live, and bought his book, and a few weeks later finished reading it, and the same day I finished reading it, John sent me an email saying, nice to meet you, so... That's kind of how it all started, yeah. <laughs> John, what was your reaction when she expressed interest in making it into a documentary based on your life and career? I, I thought she was crazy, <laughs> but I loved it. I, I, I immediately agreed. Was it kind of different? Was it uh, almost surreal for you to be now in front of the camera instead of behind it? Was that a little bit different for you? Uh, don't uh, don't get me wrong. I'm not a photographer, basically. Although I just had a, a major f exhibition of, pict of pictures I took in 1944, uh, but I was a Hollywood correspondent, age 24, for Life magazine. So I've, I've been around movies a long time. <laughs> uh, I'll do one last question. What, when you wrote the book, what would you really like people to take away from it? What was your motivation for writing it? That, that war is not the answer to, uh, to uh, the problems of mankind. It's an anti-war book. It's an anti-war film. And is that what you also were trying to express in the film? Well, I think that's where I realized that John and I had a lot of the same thoughts and feelings about things. So that's where we connected and that it just came to a natural, it just came out naturally that that's what the crux of the film became about. I'll do one last question. Upcoming projects for you both. Any upcoming films or any upcoming books for you, sir? I'm 96. I, I, I'm going to Maine for a couple of weeks vacation. <laughs> Take a break. <laughs> and for you, any upcoming films? That we can see? Yeah, I'm working at the moment in developing um, another documentary with uh, the writer Naomi Wolf. So um, it's early stages, but we're hoping that that's going to go into production next year. Wonderful. Thank you both so much. Enjoy the screening and the rest of the festival.